Between the highly rated schools, affordability, and great quality of life, Somerville, South Carolina is one of the most popular areas around Charleston that people are moving to. Today, we're gonna tell you why they're moving here, and we're also gonna get into some of that bad stuff that nobody talks about. Welcome back everybody. As always, I am Bill Olson, your favorite YouTubing Charleston realtor. That's right, today we are in Somerville, or nicknamed the Flower Town in the Pines because of its abundance of flowers and pine forests. So I wanna start off with exactly where Somerville is. Now we are just about 25 miles north of the Charleston Peninsula and about 30 to 35 miles away from the popular beaches. You've got Folly Beach, Isle of Palms, and Sullivan's Island. Somerville is fairly large. It does stretch from east to west from Berkeley County into Dorchester County and even parts in Charleston County. And because of its location, it does put you centrally located to some of the area's most popular employers. Now just to the north, we have Volvo and the soon to be open Redwood Materials, which if you've seen on one of my other videos, they are bringing 2,800 jobs into the area. Now just south of us, you do have Boeing, the airport, and Joint Base Charleston. You know, because of the location and affordability and everything we're going to get into today, makes Somerville very attractive to those in the military that are PCSing to the area. But don't be fooled by where it is and your commute if you've got to get into downtown. Just because it's 25 miles doesn't mean it's going to be a quick commute. In rush hour, you can expect to spend an hour or more in the car and even more than that if there's an accident. And spoiler alert, there will be accidents. Now before we get into the why of Somerville, if you haven't yet, please go ahead and click that subscribe button and like this video. Not only does it help the algorithm push this out to more people just like you, but it also makes me feel really good about myself. Now I wanna start off real quick with the outdoors and recreation, because just like everywhere in the low country, there is a ton to do outdoors. And the park system up here is amazing. We're starting here in Azalea Square. And this is a 12 acre park, just a few blocks from historic downtown Somerville. Now, you're gonna find so many things to do here. Besides just the park, there is a community center that you can rent out for events, multiple gazebos that are very popular with local weddings, and there is a permanent sculpture exhibit here called Sculptures in the South. And there are dozens of bronze sculptures all around the park for you to find. There's a map that shows you where some of the popular ones are. Now tell me, which ones are your favorites? Let me know down in the comments on that. Now, in addition to Azalea Park here, there's also the Sawmill Branch Trail. This is almost seven miles of paved walking, running, and biking trails that go through Somerville. And then another popular park is Gayhagen Park. Now this is a sports complex where there's gonna be softball fields, baseball fields, uh, soccer fields, football fields, picnic areas, you name it, you can find it over there. Now next, we're gonna stick right here in Azalea Park and talk about some of the events and the culture here in Somerville. Now right here in Azalea Park is the biggest event of the year in Somerville and that is the Flower Town Festival. Now this is a three-day festival with arts, food, crafts, flowers, music, anything you can think of. They close down the street. It attracts over 200,000 people into the area to attend this event. Now it's actually been going on for 50 years. 2023 was the 50 year anniversary and it is put on every year by the local YMCA. Now it's not just the yearly festivals, you do have the recurring events as well. So there is the Somerville Farmer's Market, which happens April through November every Saturday. Now that is in the First National Bank parking lot right behind Town Square. And another popular thing to do is Third Thursdays. Now this happens on, you guessed it, the third Thursday of every month in Hutchinson Square in historic downtown Somerville. Now this is a weekly festival after work where you're gonna find food, arts, crafts, vendors, in addition to everything that historic Somerville has to offer. 
All right, real quick, and sorry for the interruption of this video, but I needed to let you know something real quick. And when we were filming this video after we got back and we were editing it, we had a big mistake. Uh, we made a rookie mistake. We forgot to check our audio while we were filming it, and some of it sounded like this. Right in downtown Charleston. Well, that is no longer true. Right here, we are in next city. What the hell was that? Now we were able to put it into our computers and mess around with the audio levels. So we got it to sound less like my head was in a fishbowl in the middle of the highway and sound just like my head was in a fishbowl. So I'm terribly sorry about the audio quality in some of these sections coming up. Please bear with us. This was a rookie mistake and we have learned from that. We are moving forward and hopefully it will never happen again. Oh, Andre, real quick. Yeah, I got to So something that we don't really know is that Sowbill is the self-proclaimed birthplace of Sweet Pea. And they have this statue. It's kind of hidden down in the alley. So every year they hold a Sweet Pea Festival to commemorate this. You can vote on who has the best Sweet Pea. And one year they even flew the Guinness Book of World Records out and they made a 2,500 gallon batch of Sweet Pea right there in Sunnyvale. When we talk about dining options, shopping in Greater Charleston, most people think that all of the great restaurants are centered right in downtown Charleston. Well, that is no longer the case. Right here, we are in Nexon Square, the newest shopping and dining district here in Somerville. And we are seeing some of Charleston's favorite restaurants move up here. We don't even have to go into Charleston to get everything we have to offer. And we've got a Paul's Shop House, Hogan Sports, um, the Alessandro's Pizza, Taco Boy, and there's even a painted over grill up there. So everything is migrating this way. So you don't even have to leave Somerville to get some of this world-class food that Charleston has to offer. But it's not just here in Nexon where you're going to find all of this. And they're even expanding here, so there's going to be so much more coming. But some other hot spots where people really enjoy to go out to eat or shop. Um, the main is going to be Azalea Square and right across the street, the Main Street Market. This is where you're going to find a lot of your big box stores Target, Kohl's, Best Buy, Walmart, Lowe's. There's a Home Depot right there. Chick-fil-A. Pretty much anything you could need is going to be right there. That's right off of I-26 on Main Street. That would be considered like the center of Somerville. And then just down the street where we actually started this video is historic Somerville and Hutchinson Square. You're going to find a lot of locally owned mom and pop restaurants, bars, there's a community theater, some Salon. That's a great little spot for the locally on that right there is kind of like a mini downtown historic trust. Right, so let's talk about housing here in Somerville. Now there's a wide variety of housing all over the place. And one of the reasons people love living here is because of its general affordability. And I think general because there are places like here where we are, we're in Midtown next to him. And it is one of the more expensive places to live in Somerville. Uh, but we're, let's go over a couple of the neighborhoods again. It is a lot that is here. So if you're looking for anything specific that's not one of these neighborhoods we're going to touch on, please feel free to reach out and we can figure out exactly where you need to be for your lifestyle and your budget. First up is Nexton. Now, Nexton is not just popular among home buyers, but the National Association of Home Builders voted it as the number one master planned community in the entire country. Now, there are multiple sections within Nexton, and the newest and most popular is Midtown, where the median prices are going to be in the high 500s. Now, for the more budget friendly homes, check out the North Creek area. These median prices are right near 400. In addition to this, there's also a Dell Webb 55 plus community. I've already done a few videos about Nexton, so I'm going to link those below and at the end. So stick around and make sure you check those out. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I make videos that help people make better decisions when moving to, from, or around the greater Charleston area. 
And just past Nexton, we have Cane Bay. Now it is a little bit further out and is made up of nearly 20 smaller neighborhoods, including two current 55 plus communities and a little secret, there is a third 55 plus community by Dan Ryan Builders that is about to be announced. So I will get more information on that as that develops. Now each section will have its own set of amenities. Now median price in Cane Bay is around 400 for single family homes, but they can get up into the 600s in a few subsections. These are the Four Seasons by K Havnanian, which is a 55 plus community, and there's the Hammocks, Westlake, and Lockton. But a majority of the homes will be in the $350,000 to $450,000 range. Now, don't think that Somerville is all brand new neighborhoods. Now, there are some older homes and the historic district. And in the historic district, prices are going to range from the 300s up into the millions, depending on the size and how much work it needs. Now, these homes are going to be walkable to historic Somerville and Azalea Park. So if you're looking for a more established neighborhood and not one of the newer cookie cutter neighborhoods, this is definitely an area that you should check out. Okay, now there are a few things that you need to know about Somerville that not everyone will tell you. Now we've talked about the traffic and it's not just your commutes to downtown. Traffic just about everywhere in Somerville can get a little backed up. Now that is no secret, but because Somerville is so big and it stretches into some rural areas, Always make sure that you get enough cell service that you need in the neighborhood that you're moving into. So like if you're going extreme east or west in the Somerville area, sometimes that cell service can get really spotty if you're not in your house and on your Wi-Fi. And lastly, we have one of the biggest draws to the Somerville area, and that is the school system. Now, as a realtor, I'm really not allowed to talk about if it's a good school or a bad school. However, according to niche.com, which is one of my favorite websites to research schools on, the districts here are highly rated. Now, your main district in Somerville is Dorchester District 2. And this has an A- rating on niche.com, and all the schools in the district have at least a B or higher. Now, your three high schools in the area are gonna be Somerville High School, Fort Dorchester, and Ashley Ridge. Now, in the entire Charleston area, niche.com has this as the number one school district in the greater Charleston area and out of the 80 school districts in South Carolina, it is number eight. Now on the other side of Somerville, we have the Cane Bay area. Now that is Berkeley County. So there's a Berkeley County school district, which does have a B minus rating. Now your high school in there is going to be Cane Bay. Now overall, they do have this rated as a number three school district in the greater Charleston area and number 21 out of 80 in the state of South Carolina. So what do you think? Could you live here in Somerville or do you live here? Like, why did you move to Somerville? We would love to know down in the comments. And as always, if you're looking to sell or buy anywhere in Somerville or the greater Charleston area, I would love to be your realtor of choice. Please hit me up. I'm gonna put all my contact information right here and down below in the description. Call, text, email, hit me up on social media, send up those smoke signals and check out this video because I really think you're gonna like it and I will see you on the next one.